and my name is Simon King, I'm a documentary photographer. The way that I construct a narrative within a frame is to search and identify um, any aspect in terms of uh, emotion, gesture, interaction, action, and by combining those elements uh, I'm usually able to tell not only just what's happening uh, at any given moment but also who it's happening to and why it matters to them. There are plenty of uh, not only photographers but uh, artists, creatives, uh, all kinds of people who inspire me. When it comes to photography specifically, uh, I think that Abbas Attar, uh, Sebastian Salgado, Walter Rothwell, Don McCullen, uh, they all follow a very, very similar um, heritage while, while producing very distinct individual work. Uh, they all have a very um, human-based and emotion-based approach to uh, documenting what's in front of them. In terms of the aesthetic, they all use black and white 35mm uh, film to tell their stories, which is also what I use. Um, but that's not something that's specifically been inspired by them, but it is following very much in their, in their, um, in their line. I think that film has really gained in popularity in, in, in the last few years. It's become an incredible uh, it's become an incredible hobby, it's become an incredible pastime, but it's also still there for very serious work. I think that the accessibility of film, the fact that it's you know, pretty much cheap or free to find a, a film camera these days, um, any camera will do, as long as you can have it with you at all times, have a couple of rolls of film in your pocket, and then you, know, you can, by, by learning in that method, you can apply that to digital, you can keep going with film because the benefits of film for storytelling photography uh, definitely for me outweigh the, uh, the potential for digital. If you've just picked up a camera then the only story worth telling is your own. Uh, that means that uh, the people who are closest to you, the people in your community, uh, people in, um, you know, whether, whether you're a student or a working professional, whether you have a job, whether you're unemployed, uh, as long as there are people or some kind of life around you or your own life that you can document, um, that's where you should begin. Because if you can tell your own story well, then all you need to do from there is to move your story to intersect it with other people's and then you'll end up telling their story as well. The, um, the decision to photograph with black and white 35mm film isn't necessarily based on aesthetic. For me personally, it's to do with what the medium offers and what it doesn't. For photography, a photograph describes, that's what it does. So black and white photography describes less than a colour photograph. That means that when you have an image which is based not around a description of the, the detail of, of the specific nature of the colour of what things were at any given time, what you're left with is the potential to fill a scene, to fill a frame with lots of action and activity so that you're describing something happening rather than what something looks like.